Hey guys, it's Cherie, and today I will be sharing with you another wash and go. This time I will be testing out, let's see, what is it? The Mayel Organics Honey and Ginger Styling Gel, as well as the Mayel Organics White Peony Leave-In Conditioner. And so I'm really excited to try those out. I will be pairing it with something that's already in my collection. I have tested these on their own. However, I found that my hair wasn't, um, the curl pattern wasn't tight enough. And also my hold wasn't very long. I think I got a day and a half out of that wash and go. So I will be pairing it with a thicker, heavier product, as you know I often do. So I'll be pairing it with the Long & Lux Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Um, I mixed these products on the back of my hand and there was zero clumping so I feel really good about combining these products together so let's get into it oh actually before we start this if you are new to my channel please subscribe and at the end of the video please do let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving me a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it and you have some positive criticism go ahead and leave those in the comments as well all right let's get into it so um, today is the 4th of July and while I'm not feeling super patriotic I am going to the parade because my family goes every single year and it's really nice for the kids um, and it's a great opportunity for us to see people in our community um, so I will do this wash and go and I will let it air dry since we are walking there and it's about a mile away uh, the starting point for us so um, I figure by the time we go and watch the parade and come back home my hair should be dry uh, if not then I will use my fan to dry the remaining portions of my hair I haven't actually used my fan to dry my hair since last summer because it's just too cold in the winter to use this fan to dry my hair and then also um, it takes up a lot of space in the room so we like to put our fans away at the end of summer so I'm taking this leave-in conditioner and I'm just spraying it in my hands <clears throat> the reason why is because it does not spray evenly on the hair so by putting in my hands I can evenly distribute it my hair has been washed with a co-wash by Briogeo it's one of my favorites and it's been conditioned by the Honey Baby Naturals Honey and Ginseng um, I don't know what it's called it's a deep conditioner which I really enjoy so my hair has been washed and detangled I'm just adding this for extra moisture and protection and let's see what this says this product it says after shampooing section hair into four sections apply leave-in conditioner to the hair from root to tip do not rinse and on dry hair spray evenly okay so we're putting on wet hair so we don't have to worry about that um, this is sulfate free and color safe which is great because I did recently color my hair black and I'm gonna go ahead and put this towel on my shoulders because I'm getting wet over here um, and I'll section my hair in the four sections as it instructed <clears throat> so it's a very watery product um, there isn't much weight to it at all um, yeah, and generally for detangling leave-ins, I do like something that smooths through the hair easily, but I also like something that's super moisturizing and hydrating. So I'm not sure um, that I get much moisturization from this product, but it is nice for detangling. And that's what it's looking like. All right. So now I'm going to go in with the Long & Lux Curl Enhancing Smoothie and if you're not familiar this is what it looks like. It is a pink thick product, uh, not jiggly like it's not going to plop out. It's very solid. This is how much I'm going to use at first and uh, I'm going to first apply it on the top part and then the middle. And I, you know, while I like the way this product works in my hair, I don't like the way it smells. However, the Mile Organics products smell really great, so I'm hoping that the scents kind of balance out. But it's a really great product. If you haven't tried it, you really should. 
It's a good one for twist outs and braid outs as well. I'm trying to make sure that my hair is fully coated. I do need the moisture. My hair has been feeling so great lately, so healthy, so bouncy, and I've had some really great luck with washing goes. Um, I've been primarily using Cream of Nature products for styling just because I can get like six days out of my wash and go, which is seriously unheard of these days. I feel like my wash and goes um, used to flop often. So I was really excited when I found something that's affordable that actually provided me with a pretty good hold, but with moisture as well. Okay, so that's what that's looking like. Now we're going in with this styling gel, which is the step, this is like the star of the show, the whole reason why I'm doing the video. So hopefully, fingers crossed, things turn out well. And this is the Honey and Ginseng Styling Gel. And it says that it enhances curl definition and moisture retaining formula. So we'll see about that. This is what the texture looks like. It's actually kind of thick. It's not runny at all which is surprising because I assumed it would be um, a runnier gel, um, something like the Camille Rose Naturals gel or even, um, even the As I Am gel, like something that was a little bit more thin or the Uncle Funky Star, something thinner. But this is actually a thicker, creamier type of gel. Don't think I have any gels this particular formula or consistency but it's actually applying really nicely I think these are going to play nicely together I'm excited about that let's see okay let's see how the clumping it's clumping really nicely good okay it's all good and I'm just taking my tangle teaser and I'm starting at the top. I should have brought more clips in here. And just kind of smoothing it out like this. And then shaking it to get those springies. It's doing such a great job of clumping. So far, no frizz. And I will tell you that when I used those two products, the Myel Organics products on their own, I did have frizz in the styling process, which is a little alarming when I'm styling my hair, especially if I'm trying to get days out of it. Like my hair was soaking wet and it still looked frizzy. I don't like that. I really felt like my hair just didn't have enough moisture with just the two products on their own. Interesting enough, I've actually seen people with uh, thicker textures of hair than mine that found it to be extremely moisturizing, which is why I even purchased it in the first place. So I was surprised to see that my hair didn't feel or look moisturized using it, but everybody's hair is different, so um, products will react differently um, for different curl patterns. That looks gorgeous. I hope you can see that, it's really pretty. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next section. And I did bring my water bottle in here just in case I needed to add a little bit more water, uh, which I do actually do that. And so what I'll do is I'll only apply the product to one half of my head so that you can see that I'm applying it. And then you don't have to watch me do the other half. And so I'm gonna go ahead now in with that enhancing smoothie since I've already put the leave-in all over this side of my head. actually going to move these curls to the back since they've already been coated with product and some new tangles so I'll take those out anyway one might say Cherie why are you not feeling very patriotic this year and to be honest I've just been kind of sad about the way my people are being treated in America. Um, I am mixed. I am Mexican, Puerto Rican, African American, and all of my people, I feel, have been treated poorly 
um, in our country over the last few years and beyond, um, far beyond. And it makes it hard to celebrate, you know. I am proud to be American, but I'm also proud to be African American, Puerto Rican, Mexican. And it makes me very sad to see my people in need um, and being hurt all over our country. So it makes it hard to celebrate, you know? And I have another reason for celebrating on this day and it's a happy thing. So <laughs> I really am happy about this. It's my grandma's birthday and she's near 90 and she's healthy and she's happy and I love her so much. She's a big part of the reason why I am the way I am to this day. Um, and it's very special to be able to honor your grandparents. I was sad I wasn't going to be able to make it to my hometown, Fresno, to celebrate with her um, today because I have work tomorrow, but I will make it up to her. But this is, her birthday is what makes this day extremely special for myself and for my family. So, I can't wait to call her and sing her happy birthday and let my kids sing to her because they love singing. If you have children, I'm sure you can relate. They love singing, especially the birthday song. Okay, so I'm going in with the gel. Alright, so this is what this half is looking like. I'm going to finish the other side of my head and then I will come back on to show you what it looks like both sides done. But so far it's looking pretty good. Uh, not bad at all. So, see you in a few. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. Uh, the product is completely coated on my hair. I used all three products and I am ready to air dry. So I will be walking around and hopefully it will be completely dry in a couple hours. So I'll be back to show you my results. Okay guys, I'm back and this is what my hair is looking like. I know I'm a sweaty hot mess, but we did the parade, did a little shopping, and now I just put my kids down for a nap. So I've been busy. But this is what my hair is looking like. The curls are very soft and very defined. I ended up pulling my bangs back because it was so windy and they got a little crazy when we were walking. Um, but these curls are extremely defined. My hair is very soft. So overall, I would say that this was a successful wash and go. So if you're interested in checking out these products, again, it was the Long and Lux Curl Enhancing Smoothie. The Mile Organics Honey and Ginger Styling Gel, and the White Peony Leave-In Conditioner. And all three worked really nicely together in my hair, no clumping, um, lots of control, I would say. Um, I'm really pleased. I do believe that I'll probably get three to four days out of this wash and go, which is always a goal of mine. But yeah, so that's it. If you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.
拜。